reforms that are necessary to reassure the population that this is different. Uh, I'm not saying people should not be held accountable for that. I think it's a very small window uh, because of the high expectation out there. It is a very small window. As long as people are queuing at banks, as long as people are struggling on a daily basis, as long as people uh, have the negative impact, it would be very difficult to convince anyone. If I had not gone into the urban as if I had grudges against him, I don't have engaged in those kind of retribution. I'm doubtful. It is a change of God, but no change at all. Which is, which is one thing that is worrying. Um, because the way they have started, uh, there is beginning to be concern about what is that that is laying on the ground to deal with to offer an economic plan. And uh, there is beginning to be concern about. I don't think I don't think that uh, prosecuting pe previous offences is part of the agenda. Because where do you start? Where do you end? And. And you opening up your Pandora's box. What will stop us from winning again? But we expect that at least some form of reconciliation. Well, there is a, in the Constitution a Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Maybe that would be a way of revealing uh, those offenses of the past. <coughs> They remember things coming back to normal. Why? Should my evaluation at the point of the campaign review that I cannot proceed, how, how, I will inform the nation. But so far, I am responding well to the statement. rolling on the change that Zimbabwe needs? I've been nominated by my party, by our partners, everyone, to, to lead the opposition. Precisely because I've been a symbol, as they say. I've been a symbol of, of resistance, of democratization in this country. So, Sustaining that brand is very, very difficult. From what has been pursued for the last 10 years? I think it would be wrong to pursue a 93-year-old man. I don't know about Grace, but for Mugabe, I think it would be wrong. Why? Just because of his advanced age. And also that Mugabe in, invokes two emotions. Uh, a hero of the liberation struggle and a villain towards the end of his administration. So with that conflictual position, it will be very difficult to pursue such a man. Apart from that, um, what policy change? Uh, if at all, I think the great uh, evaluation will be very, very negative. No way compared to Mugabe. And should that just be, is that another bygone? bygone? For Grace, I don't know. I think, I think that if there are any criminal offences, committed. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that they should not proceed to prosecute her. Because she's young enough uh, to 
answer for her omissions or commissions. Yeah, okay. Thank you.